and uh, welcome to the Q&A Q&A time, well re-Q&A time um, as you guys know that I've already done this so let's get this Q&A done Hi guys, welcome to a, another question and answer session. Got the questions. So let's kick off, shall we? Let's get comfy. Right, riding the Alps 15. Hi man. Um, question one, why do I always lack of questions? Mm, no idea, dude. No idea whatsoever. Um, because you're too cool for questions, maybe? I don't know. So question two from Rodney the Alps is truth. Why are Brits why truth? Why are Brits are riding on the left side of the road and say that's the right one? It's to do with a basically it's to do with the right hand. Spices explained all of this in a video beforehand. Um, on why we, we ride on this side because we were probably one of the first countries in the world to actually have carriages or something I don't know but that's that's why we ride on the right the left I got me saying it hey okay. um, that's why we ride on the left side of the road because it's to do with the right handedness and to do with sword fighting and stuff question three where do you see the motor vlog thing going in two years um, we're all going to be probably diversifying into different things. Um, Spicy's got his metal work. I've got my photography. Um, all going in different directions, I believe. Um, Baron does his media test driving and stuff like that. I think it is going to diversify slightly and go into a completely different direction. Um, thus... YouTubing will change over the next two, two years anyway. Um, different things, different aspects. And basically, it will change. It, it will change completely. Um, and this leads on to question four. In, Instagram comes with a video thing. What do you think of it? A rival to YouTube. I haven't really tested it to what it should be. Um, I've had a quick look on the sort of aspects. I still don't fully understand how you can actually get a video on, whether it's got to be by phone or by the PC, or if it's done by phone, then that's going to cause more problems than I would imagine it would do. But you know you know you never know it might be a rival to youtube it might not it just needs to change slightly probably the way it's the way it develops um but yeah possibly possibly a rival and i'm watching myself in in the phone monitor down here because i've got the wi-fi connected to the phone and it's it's a bit weird it's a bit off so like, bah bah they go bah bah it's just, it's a bit off that that is over there um but yeah that's all the questions from riding the ups 15 thank you very much dude for your questions uh next candidate is purple monkey 1974 hello purple monkey 1974 thank you very much for your question question one have you or will you ever meet keith keith wong number one fan no i haven't i've never met the dude um but who knows who knows what will happen might meet up one day, might not meet up. Don't know. I seriously do not know. Um, number two, would you ride my bike if I offered you a go? Um, not sure. <laughs> I'm going to cop out on this one. Not too sure because obviously I, where I've only had a 125 before, 
one your gearing would be completely different to my bike again see a previous video about rotational gearbox my gearbox goes round and round and round so i'm going from first neutral fifth all the way around and i can do the other way first all the way all neutral first second third fourth fifth neutral first second mine rotates so i don't know and yours is a lot bigger than mine and it's probably more expensive than mine so i'm not sure um oh that's that's all the questions from purple monk in 1974 Thank you very much, dude. Thank you for your questions. Um, I hope I've answered them okay. Yeah, should be all right. Um, next, oh, next set of questions is Mr. Keith Wong. Uh, question number one from Keith Wong is, would you try making your digital music? I could have a go, but I can't guarantee it will come out. I used to, used to have a PlayStation game thing. I can't remember what it was called. PlayStation 1 game, where you could create your own digital music. I know I used to create little bits and pieces, but that was all like set play. I've never tried it. I've never tried it, so I would never know on that aspect of things. So possibly, possibly one day. Uh, question two is sunny, snow or cloudy days for weather preference? Sunny, yep. I like, I like sunny weather. Sunny weather is really good. Um, snow, no, 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 no. Don't like snow whatsoever. Um, it's okay if I'm not working or not traveling in it, it's fine. Um, but no, cloudy days usually tend to be a bit cooler, but as long as it's dry and cool, then yeah. So we'd say sunny days, then cloudy days, then snow, but snow I wouldn't, I wouldn't like. Question three is pigeon or crow or donkey or gremlin or corgi. Have I got to put these in numerical order that I prefer, or I, d I don't understand the question. Can I not choose all of them? Do I not choose all of the? Oh, hang on. Unless he means pigeon one eight seven, crow as in the ports of crow, XT donkey, gremlin as in gremlin, or corgi as in you. Right. I will have to go. If I had to choose them in an order and this is no way result into people or etc if these were say animals which of these animals or the gremlin gremlins little creature film we count it as the little gremlin as in the gremlins um, if that's the case then it would go pigeon corgi donkey crow gremlin but if it's person then i can't decide um, question four, would you buy the center helmet that has Bluetooth and communication? I didn't know they did a helmet. I know they do a communication device that sticks on the side of the side of your lid. I know they do that. And um, if Senna is watching and wants to uh, send me one to have a trial with, be great, would be brilliant. If if you could send, you know, send, send, send me a uh, one to test or something, that would be good. But I very much doubt they are even gonna watch this, let alone send me one or message me or whichever so um the answer to that was if they was yeah i could i could get a center that would that would save me a whole load of hassle if i um if i was to get a center communication device that that would save me a lot of problems maybe one day i'll get one one day uh question five do you cook yes i do cook i'm no chef i can rustle up little bits and pieces not I wouldn't say I was up to you know chef standard, but given the instructions, I I could cook quite easily. I could support myself, cook, eat, etc. Um, question six: Motor vlogger or people that you wish to meet? No restriction on places. Motor vlogger that I would like to meet, or people that I would like to meet. Christina Scabia. I'd like to meet Christina Scabia. I would like to meet dime who that's never going to happen because he passed away in 1994 so that's never going to happen kurt cobain if it was dead or alive questions um but people that are living would have to be i want my meeting chase on two wheels he seems a quite a good dude and walt terrific as well he seems really funny normal people that i would like to meet who would i like to meet valentino rossi i'd like to meet valentino rossi i'd like to meet Sterling Moss, great racing driver. I don't know, that's, a, that's quite a tough one. 
everybody. I want to meet everybody. Oh, that's it. Okay, thank you very much, Keith. I hope I answered them them okay. A bit vague in some I know. And thank you very much for your question. Next up, we have the XT Donkey. Question one. Uh, for the amount of content you put out, why you only have 255 subscribers? No idea. I have no idea why I only have 255 subs. I don't know whether that's because nobody's seen my content or YouTube is... Maybe, maybe YouTube doesn't recognise me as a YouTuber yet or doesn't like the content I do or um, people don't like the content I do. It could be a whole number of different issues. I honestly do not know. Uh, question two from XT Donkey is why do you store your bike at the lights? It's to do with me not warming the bike up enough before I pull away. I have a habit of starting the bike going, so boom, boom, gone. Um, and obviously it's not warm enough and I always turn the choke off before pulling away because it's a manual choke. So it will stall on its own. So that could, that could be a reason why it stalls at traffic lights, dude. Question three, what are your views on the Instagram TV? Yes, this should be part of your Q&A. As I said about riding the Alps, the, the Instagram TV thing, I'm not still not quite sure whether it's it's going to work or how you put content up i've not researched in that enough as of yet so i get bloody hot let me turn that off so yeah i've not really researched the content enough yet to make a decision on whether or not i like instagram tv or it's going to be a rival to youtube or it's going to work for vloggers or i'm not sure whether you've got to update to the phone and then from the phone to whichever I I don't know I'm not sure I'm not sure how that how that's going to take off. Right, bear with me one sec. I just need to do something, and we're back. So, uh, last on the uh, list of questions to do is by Gremlin Twenty Two. Thank you very much for your questions, Gremlin. Question one: Do you like the XT Donkeys questions? I like anybody's question. Anybody wants to send me a question, they can send me a question. That's not a problem. So yeah. They're all, cool. they're all cool, they're cool, they're cool. Question two, why does your speedo read 36 mile an hour even when you're stationary? Right, the reason it it reads 30, was it 36, did you put, did you put 36? 36, the reason, he, the reason it looks like it reads 36 mile an hour even when I'm stationary, the, I have explained in a video, the speedo gauge itself is slightly out. I did notice, I did a vlog about three months ago and it was reading I was doing 65 mile an hour and I was getting overtaken by everybody including my mate on his bike. The speedo is definitely out. The speedo doesn't work as it should work. So rather than me being in trouble I thought well what I'll do is I will put an image on there. I can change the, change change that card anytime I want. So you might see some weird stuff coming up like you know, funny faces or hello gremlin 22 or on a vlog or etc. It's, it's experimental sort of area but th that's the whole reason. The whole reason is because my speedo reads wrong and I don't want to get arrested for speeding when I'm not actually speeding. So that's the reason it reads 36 mile an hour. It doesn't, I think it reads about 32. Question three from gremlin 22 is what bike would you have if no money object and you passed your DAS tomorrow. What bike would I have? Dream bike for me is a probably a Harley Davidson Iron 883 or a Triumph, the new Triumph Bobber. I don't want hugely powerful bikes. I'm not somebody that you know race around at 200 mile an hour sort of attitude. I like to get from A to B in fair amount of comfort. I would like a sports bike, but because I've got dodgy shoulders and dodgy knees, it, it's it's debatable whether that would actually work for me. Lent over the tank. So nice cruisery style upright bike, naked bike even, you know, like a speed triple, that might work. But yeah, favorite my dream bike is an Iron883, Harley Davidson, and then probably the Bobber by Triumph, Bonneville, the list goes on and on. But yeah, that would be the bike that I would have first. Um, question four, do you do ride outs and have you considered maybe organizing a little ride out with some subs a little coastal run maybe problem with me excuse me my back's cold asleep problem with me is 
I don't go too far away from where I live. Probably Lumi's is probably the furthest that I travel on the bike. Uh, so little ride out probably, I could probably do one from say Hailing Island to Lumi's, which is what a 45 minute ride. That's feasible. But apart from the coastal run, not sure. And it's all to do with, it's not necessarily to do with, you know, can't handle the traffic, can't handle the roads. It's the bike. I don't want to be too far away from home just in case the bike breaks down or something falls off, as you know, and stuff. So yeah, it, it'll, be, it'll be something. If I, ha if I had, say, a newer bike or a... I could trust the bike more then yeah I, I would do right I, I would do ride outs but at the moment in the current circumstances no I'm not at the moment question five is what has been your favorite crash helmet or what would your dream helmet be favorite crash helmet so far would have to be the one that I've got the two nitros I had because I've had four crash helmets in total I had a Giacchini 402 I think it's a 402 or 409 a Nitro 341 VN, F341 VN. I've had two of those. One, I, I believe, Sarah, I got from you. Yes, I did get, get one from you, didn't I? I got from you. And the newest one is the HJC Rafa Max, I think it's called, which is by far my favorite crash helmet. It's quiet, it's lightweight. It's got its, got its issues like it leaks when it rains where the nitros didn't which is what i loved about the nitros nitros were a little bit heavy heavier than the HJC, hjc's great helmets as you as you know I, I came off wearing the one that you got and it protected my head it cracked crash helmet but it protected my head which is what it's supposed to which is what a crash helmet is supposed to protect your nugging but yeah hjc Raffamax is my favorite helmet at the moment and what would your dream helmet be a shoey or showy, shoey, probably, I think it's the NXR I've been looking at, but the moment finances and budget and stuff like that, it's probably gonna be the NXR. So yeah, that would be my dream helmet. At the moment, things always change, dude. And I think he left me one other question. He did. Question six, do you think I ask too many questions? No. As I stated before, ask as many questions as you want. If you want to ask 30 questions, 40 questions, if you could think of 30 and 40 questions. Next one, ask dude, 30, especially for Gremlin 22, minimum of 30 questions, yeah? So anyway, thank you very much guys for uh, all your questions. See, I did print them all, I got them all here. Thank you very much for all your questions guys. I will try and do a, another one at some point, possibly. Um, also using the new Hero 4 as well as the 3 Plus at the same time, just in case one fails. That one's already failed, the 3 Plus has already failed, I knew it would do. Hence why the four was running as well. Again, thank you very much for watching, liking, and subscribing to me. Don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to leave a like. Uh, don't forget to check out the XC store down below. Thank you very much for all your questions. I hope I answered all these okay. And uh, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye bye.